Welcome back to Matt Tomorrow. So today we're gonna be doing something um a little bit different. We're gonna be starting some uh, trigonometry. We're gonna I'm gonna be introducing some basics in this video. So let's just um I'll just start talking about it because it's very important. So here we have a right triangle. All right, and we can um so this is an angle right this is an angle right triangle means what this is 90 degrees this is um and those are two other degrees that we don't know all right so let's say we name this angle theta all right that um that's the symbol that uh, is used regularly to say an angle so that's an angle named theta right which can be any value okay so and then we'll have like um a value here right um so this will so now we can write relative to this angle right this is theta let's write relative to theta right so this this side here right side a we're gonna call it that one is adjacent to um to theta right it's right next to the angle right it's connected to the angle that's how we're gonna call it uh a, a side a right to for a short for adjacent right the opposite to the angle is gonna i'll call it a, um side o and this last side here is called h because it's the hypotenuse so all right so what can we say about theta well all right, let me just erase this so that we don't get confused all right with the other angle right now we're just focusing on this one angle right here so angle theta so um there are uh multiple different um trigonometric functions we can use but uh right for now i will be introducing well, I'll just inf I'll introduce the first three basic ones and then how they're related to all the other, um, the other more, um, I mean not not more complex but like the other ones basically. So, uh, uh first we have sine. Right, we, you write it as S I N, but it's actually S I N E. But that's fine. Yeah, sine. And then we have a uh, cos, which is short, uh, short short for cosine. We have um tan, which is short for tangent. Right. So, for cosine, sorry. I said cosines, a cosine, and then a tangent. So, and then, yeah, we have a few more. So, sine is what? Th that's, um, uh, we can remember it using this. So, pa, toa, toa, right? Which is basically an abbreviation to show what the um, ratio is for um, each of these. So, as you can see, the S, C, and T are, stands for sine, cos, and tan right and the o and h the a and h the o and a well what do you think this stand for this stands for these sides and this basically in order it shows uh, what the uh, numerator and denominator is so for sine it's o over h opposite over hypotenuse for um uh for co cosine it's um adjacent over hypotenuse and for tangent it's um opposite over adjacent so for sine let's write that opposite over hypotenuse right for cos cosine it's um um uh, a and h right so adjacent adg um adj over um hypotenuse and then tan is opposite over adjacent now we have a few more right three more which are um basically um cosecant right we have um secant right which is just uh, abbreviated by sec i'll just write the abbreviations of these because you usually won't see them as the long forms so this is cs cosecant cse csc and then um so this is stands for cosecant this is um secant right sec and then um this is cot for cotangent so what are these? So CSC is um is uh, the uh, um a reciprocal of sine. All right. So that's going to be hypotenuse over opposite. Uh, secant is going to be um hypotenuse over adjacent. And then a uh, tangent is going to be adjacent over opposite. And one more interesting thing I'm going to say before I end this video is that tangent right tangent is written as um sine over cot over cos right and so then a cot will be written as um cos over sine so yeah you can basically sine and cos are you can you, using sine and cos you can make all of these like uh, all of these are re relative to sine and cos so 
Yep, that's the basics of trig trigonometry. I hope you learned something, and we'll be using these in the next few videos.